Hello, Lunga, are you with us? Hello. Fantastic. Welcome to Maths 911. Thank you. Thank you. Great. Lunga, you've got a question on coordinate geometry, and uh, you're specifically wanting the center of a circle when we have three. been given certain information. So um, just listen carefully to what you've uh, described, and let's see if we've got all the information. You've got a coordinate system with a circle that's tangential to the x-axis at 2. Is that right? Yes. And then you have this point 4, negative 6 that's given. Yes. And your job is to now find where that center of the circle is, or to find the equation of the circle. Is that right? Both of those, ma'am. Okay. So find the equation of the circle. Okay. That's a brilliant question. It's a standard grade 12 question. So everyone needs to be able to find the equation of the circle. And the first thing that I'm going to ask you is, do you know what the standard format is for that equation of the circle? What the equation is for any circle? Okay, ma'am. Okay, for a circle that the center is not at the origin, Correct. it's x minus a all squared mm -hmm. plus y minus b all squared mm -hmm. is all equal to r squared. Okay. And Lunga, what does A and B stand for? Okay, A and B are the center of the circle. Okay, lovely. You know your theory very well. I'm very impressed. Okay, okay. the center is AB, and the equation of the circle is represented by the square of X minus A, the square of Y minus B, and that's all equal to R squared, where A and B represent the center. Now, if we take that information, what is it on this circle that you've given us, what is it that's missing? Okay, we have the x value already for the... Now, if I look at this, if I, okay, uh, slowly, if I've got this, what is missing on my picture? What is missing? Yes. In what terms? Uh, you've given me the center as AB of any circle, so what is missing on the circle? On the circle, I have to... Get A and B. I have to find the center. I don't have a center. Okay, so I'm going to plot where I think A and B is going to be. So that's going to be my center, A, B. Okay. All right? Okay, I'm just going to do that slightly different. Let's just use a point. So the center is about there. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Right. So you always start with what you know. I do know what the equation is of my graph. If I write it down, then what I'm missing is my center. So I can go back to the picture and say, well, my center is there. Okay, now with circles, there are certain uh, principles, certain um, properties that the circle has. And what is one of them if I draw this line over here? It means the tangent is perpendicular to the x-axis, therefore making it parallel to the y-axis meaning the x value will be 2 straight away. Okay, Can't fantastic. Read. And the, the one property that we're talking about is the fact that the circle is tangential. So this line is a tangent. Yes. And a... whenever you do coordinate geometry, one of the things that always stands out is that tangents are always perpendicular to the radius stroke diameter. It really doesn't matter. But this is key. Okay, without that statement, we've got nothing on this diagram. So the tangent is actually perpendicular to the radius because now this line from the center to the circumference is a radius. So therefore, that angle becomes 90. Okay, a powerful, powerful statement over here because without that, you don't have any other information. Okay, so we have that um, the radius distance then, or should I say that, like you've said, that the x value over here is 2, simply because this line over here, as you said, is parallel to the y-axis. So therefore, this value must be 2. So I'm going to just erase this over here and just call that uh, the value of 2. What I don't know is how far down it is. 
So I still have that uh, this is Y or this is B. Let's just call it B. So I still don't know what that is. Okay. Right. What else do you suggest we do? We've done quite a lot. We've got the equation. We've got the tangents perpendicular to the radius. And we've got that point. What else can we do? I think we can use the equation of the circle. Mm -hmm. um, substitute the first point, mm -hmm. which is 2 and 0. Yes. And then after getting that um, equation, we mm -hmm. substitute the second point into the equation of the circle. Right. Not forgetting to put 2 in the place of A. Correct. Because what we have now is we've got X, we've got A, and we've got Y. And we'd like to find B. Now you're saying that we are going to do that twice. Yes, ma'am. And why are we going to do it twice? Um, because it's the same point on the circle, ma'am. And um, Okay, but look what happens if you do that. So if we have, uh, you said X is 2. And you've said that um, A is 2, and you've said Y is 0, we don't know what B is, and it's equal to R squared. Yeah. So which so point am I going to substitute now? End up with B squared is equal to R squared. So Correct. we might take that as our first equation. Okay, so what we now have is a situation where we've got two variables that we don't know. So we would like to find another equation that relates them. Okay, that's a good way of looking at it, two equations. Can we just maybe do that slightly shorter, just um, perhaps two or three steps less than what you were thinking, and have a look at the relationship between this line. What is the name for this line from the center to the circumference? What is that? The radius. It's the radius. So this radius is equal to that radius. They both radii. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So instead of me setting up two equations, I can actually set up one equation that equates those lengths straight away. So you have the length, uh, let's call it R1 and R2. So R1 is equal to R2 because they're both radii. Yes, ma'am. And then we have R1's distance is 2 minus 2 and... 0 minus b squared, and that is all equal to that red length, which is the same distance. So it's 2 minus 4 squared okay. plus b plus 6 squared, and they're both equal, and now we've got one variable to solve for. Okay, so here we go. That's 0, that's b squared, and that's equal to 4 plus b squared plus 12b plus 36. Okay. Okay, B squared is on both sides, so we've got 12B is equal to, we've got 36 plus 4 is 40. Mm -hmm. So that becomes negative 40. Yeah, so then B is 40 over 12. Correct, negative 20 negative. over 6, or yeah. that's the same as negative 10 over 3. So that's negative 3 and a third. Okay. Okay, so that's B's value, which makes sense because it is, that's negative 6 over here, so that's negative 3 and 3, so it sort of makes sense. Um, so that would be um, your center of your circle would now be 2 and negative 3 and a third. Okay. Okay. So and your equation would be X minus 2 plus Y plus 3 and a third yeah. squared equals to the radius squared. And how big is the radius? The radius is the square of B. Okay, because that's correct. We said earlier it was the square of B. So yeah. B squared is that squared, which is 100 over 9. So that would equal okay. to 100 over 9. Yeah. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, ma'am. Good. Any other questions? No. You're happy? Yes, ma'am. Lovely. Thanks. Thanks, Lunga, for joining us.